All right, this is a video to explain how to drop points or draw polygons in IGIS. We'll start out by selecting our project. In this case, we have one called G and K Concepts. And within that project, I already have two polygon layers. I've got a boundary layer and a layer for my management zones. If I want to create points, I can't do it within a polygon layer. I have to have a point layer. And in this instance, I don't have one. So I need to create a layer for points. And I'm going to do so by exiting out of the project and hitting the little I. And I'm going to add a new layer. Select point layer. I can either have one already existing or I can select new empty layer. And I can call it whatever I want. Max Ag Points. Okay, so this is going to be the layer where I'm going to put in those points. All right, under label attribute, this is the attribute that's going to show up on the screen. Currently right now, if I select ID, that, dis that label will be displayed on the screen. That's a default named um, label within that attribute. So now I've got this point layer within the project. I can open the project. And you'll see under this hamburger stack menu, I've got three layers now. I've got the boundary, the zones, and the points. If I want to create points now, I use this edit button next to the pancake stack or the hamburger stack menu. It's a folder with a pencil. Select that. And this is where I can either draw polygons or I can drop points. It matters very much what layer you select. So if I want to create points, I have to have the points layer selected. Right now the boundary layer is selected. So that's only going to give me the ability to draw polygons. I'm going to cancel that and I want to select the point layer and then select the screen. Now I can drop a point. You'll notice that it gives you crosshairs underneath your that isn't underneath your finger. You can move this around and drop a point that's not underneath your finger. If I hit save on that point, it gives me the ability to name it. ID is defaulted to one. That's what I was talking about before. We selected the label attribute to be ID, so that is what will be displayed. I could name it although the name Neil will not be displayed because I have the label attribute ID selected. So now it says number one, that's my point. I can hit the X and then it cancels the editing feature. Likewise, if I wanted to draw a polygon again, I would go to edit. I would change my layer to be either the boundary layer or the zones. Let's say I want to modify one of these zones. So I'd select zones. And now I can zoom in and let's say they built a house on the side of this field and I want to mark out. I've got the four-wheeler setting. Well, let's say this blue dot is my four-wheeler and I want to edit in an area that I know is now no longer farmed. I can now, I can either select the polygon by dropping points or I could use this compass feature and drive around and it will record my path as I drive around. I can't do it now because I'm standing still so I'm going to select a point. I'm going to start where I know that I'm sitting. I can put the crosshairs right over the, my position and then I can go to the corner. Let's say they don't farm the whole front of this field now. And I can draw a polygon there. And then I can save it and name it. No longer farmed. I can save that area. And then I could bring this layer into SMS if I needed to have an exact location of where those were. So we've drawn in a polygon. We've drawn in an additional points. I want to export those layers so that I can use them in SMS. I'm going to hit done. And this is tricky. We got to go to this folder with the gear on it down here. And we got to look for the layer we just modified. So in this case, it was going to be the GNK Concepts Brookside layer or the zones, or it's going to be that one I called Max. Ag. Right here, some at max. I, I, I mistyped it, but it's max at points. I'll select that, and right here it gives me the ability to export. I'll export, select Dropbox in our case, and I can choose one of these folders. Let's say in Dropbox I have one that says um, field collected points. I can put it right in that folder, or I can just drop it in the root of the Dropbox folder choose folder and it will export it to that position. It'll be there on my desktop to extract out as a shapefile and then I can read that into SMS. 
Same thing with those um, with the, the the zone layer. So GNK Concepts zones. That's the it layer I was editing when I did the the no longer farmed portion of that field. So I would select that, and I would export that to Dropbox. And I happen to have some some folders in here. Let's say tile lines, for example. Let's say that just said 2020 field edits. I could select that folder and drop it there so it's in a designated spot within Dropbox for my field exports. So hopefully that gives you a good definition of how to create points or polygons within IGIS and then edit them. It's pretty easy. The main thing to remember is when you go to edit, select the layer that you want to add or amend to. Points, start dropping all the points you want but you gotta save each one individually. If you wanna do it fast, it'll default and name them for you. One, two, three. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you got questions.